right. Welcome, everybody. I'm Brian Kaiser. I'm the face of Growth Coaching Systems Network, where we help people live a better life and run a better business. And tonight, I'm bringing back the three keys to your success webinar series and specifically focusing on the three keys for hiring a coach. And we'll go through those three keys real quickly. The first of the three keys is the discovery and the research. You've got to discover who you are, where you are, and where you want to go. And then you have to do some research and find out who in your sphere of influence can help you. And if there's no one in that sphere of influence that you can get to help you, who do you know that could could reach out of in, in that in their sphere of influence and bring someone in that could help guide you and mentor you and, and coach you through to where you want to go. The the second of the three keys is you're going to pick one one head coach or one head coach in a collaborative group of coaches so that they're going to be the guide. They're going to call the shots. I relate it to the NFL football teams. Everyone, I think, can relate to an NFL football team. You see the head coach out calling most of the shots on the field, yet if he needs the quarterback to do something, he calls on the coach that coaches the quarterback. He's there as the head coach, and he brings in the experts to do the things necessary for the team to get them to their goal and their vision and achieve what they've set out to accomplish for that season. So you want to choose one coach or one head coach in a collaborative group of coaches. The last thing is be sure to ask the question so that you can set your expectations. Remember, it's not about what the coach wants or the coach wants for you. It's about what you want and where you want to go and why you're hiring this coach. You have to be able to tell him, I'm hiring you because I need to achieve X, Y, and Z. And if you can't do that, you need to spend a little bit of time working through and just answer the simple question. If you fast forwarded to the end of their program, most coaches are six or 12 weeks, if you focused, focused on and, and fast forwarded to the end of their 12 week program, what needs to happen both personally and professionally for you to feel you made significant progress and this relationship, the time, the money, the effort was worthwhile? Ask yourself the question, sit down and be honest, and then be honest with the coach. You have to give them a chance to say, yes, I can do that. I can exceed, I can meet or exceed these expectations you've set, or no, I can't, but let me refer you to someone that can, or let me pass you back over to Brian, and maybe he has someone else in his network of coaches that can meet those expectations. And that's why we we're doing the Three Keys webinars. Tonight, I brought on a very special guest. I got to have him on my radio program, Legal Eagle and the Coach. It was an extraordinary interview. I think he's an extraordinary person. And when you meet him and you hear from him, I think you're going to feel the same way. This may be a coach that you would like to hire. And that's why I have him on the webinar series. You can hear from him. You can see him. You can even put questions and comments in the chat box even if this is on the recorded version of the webinar those questions and comments still go to his email box and I guarantee he's one of those guys that will answer and respond to an email if you go ahead and send it to him so I'm gonna bring up mr. Rodney Hughes and I'm gonna let him explain who is Rodney Hughes not the businessman but the man behind the businessman the actual Rodney Hughes welcome Rodney Thank you so much, Brian. Thanks for having me on here. Um, you know, who am I? That's always one of those <laughs> tough questions to answer because it's like trying to, you know, condense a whole lot of time into a very small time frame. Um, but, you know, I really, I'm just, I like to look at it this way. I, I, I'm an average guy who is really focused on accomplishing extraordinary things and helping others achieve extraordinary things. Um, I'll tell you just a little bit about my story. Uh, I was born and raised in Atlanta, Georgia, um, and as I was growing up, you know, I had my share of uh, difficulties, we'll put it that way, in uh, trying to find my path, and, and along the way, um, I have failed many, many times. Uh, and, and I would say probably the majority of things that I've done, uh, I feel as though I have failed at those things. But through those failures, I have gotten better every single time and my risk tolerance has gone up every single time. And so what I try to do um, 
whether it's in business or whether it's in my personal life, is I try to always give value as much as I can to the people that I'm dealing with. And it doesn't matter whether it's a friend, doesn't matter whether it's a random stranger. If I see the opportunity to give value, I try to always give value because um, I believe, hey, this, this world is very tough or it can be very tough. And, you know, I just I just really appreciate the opportunity to give value whenever I can. So, again, I'm a simple guy. Um, I, I, I try to help as many people as I can. And I try to do that on a personal level and a business level. Very nice. And that's uh, that's the kind of thing that people want to know. Have you have you run a few miles? Uh, did you trip and fall? Were you able to get back up? Were you able to be successful? And uh, that leads us right into the next question that that I had for you, and that is, you know, what created this passion within you for developing your programs and developing yourself to be able to share. To, to with with boldness and gratitude share all those experiences all that experience that you have with others to help them achieve their goals so when, when I think about what started it all right um, the the quote-unquote cause of the cause and effect equation um, I have to start I have to really start back at high school because that's where a major shift happened in my life um, and this is somewhat of a long story but I'm gonna try to keep it as small as short as possible when I was in um, when I was in the ninth grade I, I lived with with my aunt in um, Augusta Georgia and uh, I raised all kind of you, you know he double hockey sticks right and uh, she ended up kicking me out the house and saying, "Look, you're going to stay with your father. You, you, you're, you're too much for me." <laughs> and so I got kicked out. He, they, she ended up taking me to it, brought me back to Atlanta so I could stay with my dad. And when I stayed with my dad, uh, that was I was going into my tenth grade year, and I went to Pebble Brook High School. Uh, during that tenth grade year, for the majority of the time, um, I took just about every wrong step that you could take. Um, <laughs> I mean, I was coming to school uh, and I was doing things that I had no business doing from, uh, you know, drinking alcohol, smoking, uh, you know, just doing all kind of stuff that I had absolutely no business doing. And it even got to a point to where uh, I, I was getting randomly searched um, for, uh, you know, drugs, uh, you know, um, cigarettes or whatever. So what ended up, an uh, uh, interesting thing was happening throughout that year where I had a friend of mine who saw something in me. I don't know what it was. And it, actually, he wasn't that close of a friend, to be honest. He, I mean, he was just a guy that I knew at the school. And every time I would see him, he would say, man, you need to go out for football. You need to go out for football. And at the time, I didn't have a, it wasn't like I was uh, this big muscular guy. I was really scrawny. I, I, I was doing all kinds of stuff I had no business doing, but he kept saying it. And so what ended up happening was I ended up getting suspended from school on one of those random searches, and they caught me with a cigarette on me. And I was suspended for like two or three days. Then I came back, and the very day that I came back, um, I got suspended again for five more days by the head coach of the football team because he caught me smoking in the bathroom okay horrible situation right so when I came back to school a couple of months or maybe a month or two later uh, they had the spring football tryout and I went out on the field uh, I decided that hey I wanted to, to, to give it a try I went out there and um, Literally, they put me at the worst possible position that you could put me at. At, the, at that time, I was about uh, maybe six foot tall, and I weighed 180 pounds, and they put me at four-string offensive guard, okay? This is the average size of an offensive guard in high school is about 260 pounds. They put me at offensive guard weighing 180 pounds. And to speed up the story, uh, by the beginning of that – the, the, the next year, my junior year, by the beginning of that season, the very first game I ever played in, I was a, a starting, I was the starting offensive guard, and I also um, 
was the captain of my very first game. And then by the end of that year, um, I was first team uh, all county for as an offensive guard in the biggest county in the metro Atlanta area. And it seemed like all of a sudden, over the course of one year, everything changed when that once they named me first team uh, off, first team all county offensive guard. And it was in that moment where I started seeing how people were had changed. People that hated me in the school all, all of a sudden loved me. And just things just started shifting. My grades were better. Everything was better. And it got me down the path of thinking like, man, what happened? Like for, for like years after that, I, I kind of wonder what, like what, where did the shift take place? Because one year I was literally one of the most hated people in the school. The next year I was on top. I was like the hero of the school. And to get back to your question, you know, um, you know, of what got me down the path of, of that journey is I, st I understood after I analyzed it how small decisions in our life, small decisions that we make in our life and in our business can oftentimes have a huge impact. And we have no earthly idea what that impact is going to be. And so when I'm dealing with business owners and, and, and people who are trying to move forward in business, what my ultimate goal is to do is to help them make better decisions, decisions that they that they might think are very, very small, that have such a huge impact on you. You know, if you're building a skyscraper and you're off by 10 degrees, you know, if you're going up, you know, 10, 20 stories, it's not that big of a deal. You go up 100 stories, a 10 degree, being off by 10 degrees can be a major, major problem, and it can do the same thing in your business. And so that's, it was a long story. I hope I didn't bore you there, but I just wanted to give you the idea of w where my passion comes from, because those small decisions really can have big impacts. And that, that's an awesome story, by the way. <clears throat> the, the fact that uh, you totally were down and out pretty much. I mean, that was, you're you know, going down the path of nothing but, you know, bad things going to happen. And just because someone that you weren't even very close to just said you need to play football, then everything turned around for you, and now look where you are today. You have uh, a couple of books out. You have another book. Uh, we see the, the preview of it behind you. We were talking before we got on the webinar. So you've had all these positive things because of that one time decision made back in the high school days to go and do something else with your life and give it a shot because somebody put in your mind, hey, I think you would be good at that. And that's, uh, I think people people need to hear that. They need to know that their coaches have, they've been on those bad roads because there's a lot of people that I know you're going to help that they've been on bad road and they need that to, to get back on a good road. They need somebody that can give them that little, little one small grain of information or attaboy or you're doing good that just makes that, uh, that road fork and they can go on down a good path. So, uh, you know, uh, when in your business, and I, I ask these things because I want people to really understand the solutions and the things you've come up with, you have found a problem that is worth solving. And um, I just want to go through how your program is structured, how people get into that funnel, and, and just some usable nuggets that come from that first introductory program that you have, that, that consultation, what does that look like when they come in the door? Got it. So first off, the, the, one of the, I think probably the biggest problem that I focus on nowadays with, with helping with coaching people is really helping people get high paying clients. Um, that is, you know, that can be a really big mountain for a lot of, uh, a lot of people. Um, and so what, what I do, the way my funnel starts is typically somebody sees me through some type of event or something. So like, for instance, I, I might do a, um, a, a, a live seminar, right? And I invite local business owners to come in there so I can teach them some things about sales and marketing, right? That might be one way that they come into my, my funnel. Another way they might come into my funnel is through Google. They might Google 
something about sales and marketing and then somehow get get to my website and on my website you know I try to give them more information about what I do and then offer them the opportunity to have a strategic business growth consultation with me um, that's another way and so I have many different ways from direct mail to uh, marketing you know online to you know all, all different types of ways that that I reach out to let people know that I exist and that I'm out there and that uh, help is out there for them and I try to always uh, this is a concept I talked about on your radio station but with everything that I do when I reach out to people when I'm marketing to people I'm trying to always lead with value right um, I'm not asking it's not like I'm trying to get people to say hey 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 give me some of your money so I can teach you how to win in business right no <laughs> it's not like that what, what I always try to do is I try to create a situation where you, where you, and when I say you, I'm talking about whoever, um, whoever it is out there that might be interested in what I have to offer. I always try to create a situation where you come out on top, okay? Where you get great information before I even tell you pretty much what it is that I offer, okay? Because I, I feel like there's a lot of nonsense out here in the marketplace right now. There's a lot of people that are promoting these get rich quick ideas, right? Where or or these magic bullet ideas where they're like, okay, you do this one thing and all of a sudden you're going to be a millionaire, right? <laughs> and it, you know, my the issue I have with that is because I know a lot of millionaires and a lot of the millionaires that I've come across in my life haven't done just one thing and and you know they were able to have all this great success now I'm, when I say this one thing I'm not talking about like uh, I'm not talking about just one thing as far as a business I'm talking about one thing as far as marketing and sales ideas they do uh, uh, you know they create synergy by having multiple different things going on at once to actually create the type of success that that you're seeing so you know a bakery might might have newspaper ads going while doing Facebook while doing TV ads while doing you know um, going out in the com community and, and, and giving samples free samples of their cookies out there you know it's, it's all different types of things working at once and so um, when somebody comes into my funnel the very first thing that I want to do is I want to learn more about their business uh, what what has gotten them? Where are they currently? Right here, right now, today. Um, and then I want to look at where have they been, right? What are the things that you've done that worked? What are the things that you've done that haven't worked? And then, lastly, I try to focus on helping them crystallize the vision of where it is that they want to go. See, a lot of times the people want more out of their business, want more out of their life but they get so consumed in the day-to-day -day routine that we create that oftentimes it's hard for them to see I don't know the the exact saying yeah I'm, I feel like I'm about to slaughter it but they can't see the the forest for the woods right and it's like they need somebody to help them help them focus on looking at what the future is going to look like because if you really want to make uh, major changes in your business you have to have a clear vision of where it is that you're going or else you're going to find yourself bouncing all over the place and doing all different types of things some which are productive and some that aren't productive and so I hope I answered your question I don't know if I answered the, the entirety of your question yes um, perfectly actually it was a very good answer and, uh, uh, and that's you know when people come into your funnel and if you can you know you come in they come in through different media they but they come and they all do the consultation so you can learn about them it's not about what you're going to give them it's about who they are and where they are and where they want to go and then defining where they want to go because success exactly. looks different to all of us success is different to all of us yes. uh, success may be a uh, um, hundred million dollars boats cars houses land in Europe I don't know what else for me but it may simply be you know spending six hours additional a week with the wife and kids at home could be success to someone else and Absolutely. that's the God's honest truth is 
you got to find out what is that what does that look like to them so where they want to go is very important and that brings me to uh, you know something I made a comment on the radio show <clears throat> it's right there on the top of your website and it says magnetically attract new clients customers or patients and I just wanted to to get you to maybe give us three little nuggets that you uh, use for attracting people and tell us why you like those the best got it got it okay so um, when it comes to magnetically attracting your um, uh, your clients or, or customers or patients one of the one of the first things that I want to start off before I even get to the three things is this concept of magnetically attracting right and so uh, it's funny because I was just talking about this with somebody else, but um, you know, oftentimes in business, it can almost be like trying to find your ideal mate, right? Uh, your your wife or your husband, whatever, right? So if you're aggressively going after your your ideal mate, you might end up turning them off, right? They might put you in the crazy box in their mind, right? Because you're coming, you're coming at them too hard. You're not magnetically attracting to each other. You're trying to force your way onto. And people do this in business all the time, right? Mm -hmm. With marketing and, and with sales, it's about creating a magnetic type of situation, right? A type of situation where you know there's a, a gentleman by the name of Jerry Robert. Um, who owns a publishing company and I heard this expression from him and I thought it was brilliant he said that sales is like kissing right the best kissers are always leaning forward right but they lean forward to a point and allow the other person to reciprocate that so that both parties are moving forward together mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. and um, so one of the things that I so now let's go ahead and jump into you know one of those three things. Um, one of the three things that I, I I try to teach people is identify your market. Know exactly who your market is. You get what I'm saying mm -hmm. in your business because a, a common mistake that I see a lot of people make in business is that they say stuff like, um, "Well, my product is for everybody," right? And they don't understand it when they say my product is for everybody that what they're saying is that they're also saying that they have to have a everybody budget right so think about it uh, look at the companies out here that promote to just about everybody let's say Walmart right let's say McDonald's right these are all different types of companies that promote to just about everybody and because they promote to everybody, their message tends to be very vague and ambiguous. And they have enough money to, to, to do that to where they're constantly staying out there, right? But the average business owner doesn't have McDonald's money. The average business owner doesn't have Walmart money, right? And so um, one of the things I always talk about, if you want to start a magnetically attracting um, your customers, your clients, your patients, you got to identify, you got to be for somebody, right? So, um, so for instance, like I said, I help people attract high paying clients. So if you, you know, if you, um, uh, if you net at least a thousand dollars from uh, a, a transaction, well, you and I need to talk, right? Um, and, and so if you're, uh, if you're a chiropractor, maybe think about how you can, make your chiropractic firm for a specific audience, right? Because then it allows you to truly maximize each each dollar that you invest in marketing, okay? And so that's one thing. Um, this, the, the second thing that I would say is um, you want to make it easy for people to say yes. You want to make it easy for people to move close to you, right? And so... Um, one of the things that I always recommend is come up with this thing that we call like a, a irresistible offer, something that makes it easy for people to commit. Because you gotta understand, um, the the statistics out here for 
uh, how, uh, there are some staggering statistics. I think one of the statistics that don't quote me here because it, it, I haven't seen the statistic in a very long time, but I want to say something like they say that the average person sees about 4,000 ads a day. Okay. So I don't know how accurate that is, but if that's true, right, that means there's a lot of noise out in the marketplace. Okay. We're seeing ads everywhere. We're being overloaded by ads more so than ever before in history. Okay. So if you want to uh, make it easy for, for somebody to say yes, make the, the barrier of, of entry as low as possible, right? Uh, either make it free or make it very, very low for that first occasion. And so uh, a classic example of this is some people use Groupon, right? But the way most people use Groupon, they're setting themselves up for failure, okay? And I'm not, I, I don't have enough time to, to go into the specifics, but the reality is, is that Groupon can be an excellent way to give an irresistible offer to the market, but you got to know what to do when the people come to you, though, right? Mm -hmm. So that you can maximize that opportunity, all right? And that's one of the things that I teach people is, you know, don't just do marketing and then don't maximize that opportunity. And if you don't, uh, and that brings me to the next, um, the next piece that I would say uh, that would I think would help you know the people that are listening to this is you want to seek omnipresence, okay? So omnipresence is trying to be everywhere at once, right? That's that's what omnipresence is about. And so uh, you can't really ever accomplish it, but I would say seek omnipresence in your market. And the only way you're really going to be able to do that is if you if you start trying to be for somebody. Unless you got, I mean, if you have, listen, here's here's the litmus test. Do you have twenty to fifty million dollars to invest in a year for advertising and marketing? If you don't at least have twenty to fifty million, then you need to start trying to figure out how you could be for somebody. Okay, because if you can be for somebody then you can focus on being omnipresent within that demographic within that demographic and psychographic does that make sense perfect sense perfect sense so they come into your funnel for uh for, through your your session and consultation and you help them in your top three things that that you look for is knowing who they are where they are and where they want to go and then defining that where they want to go down to what does success look like for you and then uh, you're in the top three uh, nuggets that you kind of give as uh, as value pieces. You tell people, hey, focus on the one person in your target audience. Focus on speaking directly to one person in your target audience. Make sure that you make an irresistible offer to them, something that would be stupid if they didn't take the offer. And then uh, something that I preach as well as, as a lot of people in my network and, and people that follow me know, be everywhere. Be visible everywhere. Not just visible to people, but visible to the one person that you're trying to attract to that irresistible offer, so you can engage. And that's what I that's what I heard and took away from from the answer is you're really focused on that one person with a, giving them an irresistible offer and being everywhere so that they're seeing you many, many, many times. And so, just to elaborate just a little bit, when just so we can be clear, when when we say that one person you got to understand that that one person is going to be multiple people that just yeah. happen to have the same interests, right? Exactly. And so, so the thing is, is you, you want to create a, a type of situation where like, have you ever been out, you know, just out somewhere and you met some, some random person, you didn't know who they were. Right. And somehow or another, you all started communicating. And when you started communicating, it seemed like you all had so much in common. Maybe you're a Nets fan, and I'm a Nets fan. Maybe you like fishing, and I like fishing too. And you you all have a lot in common through that communication. And, and because you all have so much in common in that communication, it's such a great experience. It's like you want to know this person. You want You want more from this person. Well, when you can accomplish that kind of dynamic, it won't be exactly that, but when you can accomplish something close to that dynamic in your marketing, then people become much more responsive to it. 
right? Exactly. So if if you're a chiropractor and uh, you're trying to identify a market that uh, you know of 60 year old men that have lower back problems, right? If you can create a message in your marketing that is specific to that particular audience, mm -hmm. you have a lot more chance of being much more effective with your marketing, right? I totally and agree. Making your marketing dollars go a lot farther. Yes, exactly. I totally agree with you. I totally agree with you. And um, as we come to the end of this, I have to give you kudos and congratulate you on uh, your best-selling book that you have out. Want to just touch on it real quickly? If you can just enlighten us a little bit about the book, um, and also tell everyone how to get it. I'm going to go ahead and pop up the offer. Uh, that's the that it's a free consultation, basically on your website. It's right there on the front page, easy to get to. I'm going to pop that up now. Let people uh, that want to subscribe to that go ahead and, and get involved and take some action. Uh, I think they know exactly who Rodney Hughes is now and how Rodney can help them. It's been a great webinar, but I really want to help you and, and help the audience get that book and do uh, take a further dive into the mind of Rodney Hughes through his best-selling book. So tell us a little bit about that. Absolutely. So first and foremost, um, I wrote Selling Domination. Uh, the, matter of fact, here goes a copy of the book right here. Selling Domination, Your Blueprint for Selling More and Generating an Extraordinary Income. Um, the reason why I wrote this book, I designed everything about the book specifically for, I'll say you, and I, 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 I wrote the book with thinking about when I first started in sales and marketing and when I first started in business. And here's the, here's the reality. Most people are extremely busy nowadays. And that's why I wanted to write a, a, a just a small book that shouldn't take nothing more than you know maybe a couple of hours to read, but that had a lot of great great value in it, and it got to the point. I didn't want to write a, a, a novel or dissertation <laughs> about sales and marketing that wasn't going to do anything but confuse the heck out of you, right? I wanted to write something that was very direct and really gave you real life stuff about that can help you immediately in your business and so um, the reason I wrote it was because I want you to be able to get off to as fast a start as you can in getting results in your business from a sales and marketing standpoint so I cover some really awesome ideas in that book that can help you really get off to a fast start no matter whether you're already in business no matter whether you're just getting started in sales and marketing this book is for anybody who is who has to operate in some type of a sales capacity or some type of a marketing uh, capacity and it really doesn't matter and so if you want to pick this book up you can pick up pick up the book one of two places you can go directly to www.sellingdomination.com again that's www.sellingdomination.com or you can go to uh, my other website which is uh, www.rodneyhughes.com and just go to the tab that says buy my book um, and you can pick up a copy of the book there and if you want you, listen if you're in business and you really want to get you're, 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 you're tired of feeling frustrated you're tired of of doing the same things and not getting the results that you really want to get I offer the opportunity for the strategic business growth consultation and this is a really unique opportunity it's a, it's an opportunity where I will work with you one-on-one -on -one and talk we're, we're gonna focus 100% on your business and I will help you strategically connect the dots between where you are today and where it is that you want to wherever you want to be in the next year the next five years the next 10 years in your business I can help you strategically uh, connect those dots and here's the great part it's absolutely free there is no motive to it if you decide at the end that you would like to uh, see what a long-term relationship would look like then I'd be happy to tell you what that would look like and, and give you the details behind that but if not then you can take the information in it if you want it to go out and do it on your own excellent I want you to go ahead and do it on your own but if you want some help I'm here to help you as well 
and here's the here's here's the awesome thing about it. This is something that a lot of people aren't willing to do. I'm so confident that I can help you in your business that I'm willing to put my money where my mouth is. If you felt like at the end of our session that it was a complete waste of time, okay? Which by the way hasn't happened in over 10 years, okay? It's never happened once. But if in if it just happened to happen where you thought this was a complete waste of my time, then I'll I'll send you a check for $25. That way you're guaranteed to come out on top, okay? You're guaranteed to that it's guaranteed it's a guarantee that your time is going to be that your time spent with me is going to be valuable, okay? And so again, I just wanted to offer this to you because I think that uh, there are a lot of people who are frustrated. Their business isn't moving forward for one reason or another. Maybe they want to spend more time with their family. Maybe they want to make more money or whatever the reason is. I'd love to have the opportunity to help hopefully provide some clarity for where it is you want to go in the future. And so I'm excited about it. I thank you for checking out this webinar and uh, I, I definitely look forward to helping you in the future. Rodney, this has been a great webinar, and I think that people got a lot out of this. And just to go through your funnel again, you have that that free business uh, business growth consultation, and you're going so far as to put your money where your mouth is and say, if you don't get anything out of my session, I'm going to give you $25 for your time, just for letting me take the time with you. So I yeah. think that's really awesome, and people... Uh, People are going to connect with your story. There's a lot of people out there that I know that, that they come looking for coaches, they're looking for consultants, look for mentors, and they don't know exactly who to who does what and who really does what they say they're going to do. And I really appreciate you coming on. Uh, I've got your offer posted up on the side over here. I want anyone that uh, needs to go ahead and click the sign up today. Rodney's session is free. Uh, actually, you earn money if you don't like it, but I don't think that that's going to happen. And uh, so click the, click the button, go in there, register for Rodney's session. And remember, there's three keys to finding the coach. you got to do the research and discovery. You've got to know how to pick one or one collaborative group. That, that one coach is going to be the head coach in the group. And then you have to know how to set your expectations. And Rodney just went through his entire funnel with you. And the top three things that he... He gave you as nuggets that he truly believes in is, you know, you got to know your target audience. You got to know who you're talking to. You got to make an unresistible offer. And you have to be visible everywhere to get results that you want. Now, Rodney said you can get his book, read it, Selling Domination. It's on, on the website. You can click the link. And it will give you nuggets. It will tell you how to do these things that he teaches, many of them. But a lot of people need that guidance. They need that personal interaction, and they need that uh, that person to hold them accountable and make sure they stay between the guardrails and and not get off the road. And I think Rodney's a very good coach and a very good person to help people stay between the guardrails, not waste their time and money on unnecessary marketing and sales techniques that aren't going to work. You have to have a, a strategic and intentional approach. And as you heard, he's very very strategic, very intentional, and he's very purposed with what he wants to deliver to people by giving you everything out there that you could do it for yourself and then being there and saying, look, I value your time. I want to help you. If you need me, I'm here for you. So, Rodney, I appreciate you coming on the Three Keys webinar. And uh, we'll sign off. Is there any last uh, comments that you would like to make before we say goodbye? Actually, yes. And I want to end on value, okay? Um, there's one thing that I want to share from, from my book, okay? Excellent. And, uh, if you don't take anything else, listen, if you don't, if you, if you don't want to take advantage of purchasing the book or don't want to take advantage of the Strategic Business Growth Consultation, at least take, take this one nugget of information, okay? I share a concept in this book that I think a lot of people, if you're in business um, or if you're in sales, I think this is a concept that you really need to understand, okay? Here it is. The number one challenge in any business, don't care what business it is, is obscurity, okay? And there are three different levels to obscurity. And I like to explain these because, uh, you know, 
it's really, really important as far as you being able to move your business forward, okay? The first level is they don't know who you are, okay? Understand that. The number one challenge, they don't know who you are for the most part. For most business owners that I work with, there are people right there in, I mean, within a five-mile radius that would gladly spend their money to with this particular business, but they don't even know that they exist, okay? If people don't know you exist, they will not give you their money, and there's no exchange of value there, okay? You don't get the money. They don't get the, the solution, all Very right? True. Very true. The second level is they don't know your value, okay? So if they don't know your value, it's hard for people to make a decision because there's so much junk out there. Like I said earlier in this interview, there, you know, the average person sees about 4,000 ads per day, right? It's hard for them to disseminate what's value, what's not value, right? So if you want to have an advantage in business, figure out ways to demonstrate your value before you even ask them to purchase anything from you, okay? So that's the second level of obscurity. They don't know your value. And then the last level of, of obscurity is they're not constantly thinking about you. See, they might know who you are. They might know how much value you offer. But if you can't find creative ways to stay on the top level of, of your market's mind, you're going to always find it difficult to get referrals. You're going to always find it difficult for, for them to return to your business. You know, you, you're going to find it difficult to get them to be continuous customers or continuous clients or continuous patients. And so I just really, I felt compelled to share that. I know we were wrapping it up, but I wanted to share that because whether you decide to get this book right here or whether you decide to do a strategic business growth consultation with me, at least take that part because I think if you could wrap your head around those three levels of obscurity, it could really help you in your approach to your marketing and in your approach to growing your business. And that's, that's all I wanted to share. Ronnie, that is excellent. That is an awesome way to wrap up the, the webinar. Uh, I'm, I know the people out there that are, are watching now and the people that are going to watch this in the future because we're going to re repurpose this and rebroadcast it out because I want people to, to learn and know who Rodney Hughes is and how they can get the value that you're willing just to give out there. And uh, I think that's a great way to end. And uh, I have the it up. The, when you click on the button, it'll take you to Rodney's website. The business growth consultation is right there on the front page. The tab is right up there on the top to get the book. Get the book. It's not a waste of time. It's going to be a great read. And he just gave you a huge nugget of information that came straight from the book. So that book is obviously packed full of value. So Rodney, I would appreciate, I would say I, I appreciate and, and uh, I'm grateful that you were willing to come on the webinar, do uh, go through the questions with me, and uh, show people that you know there's coaches and there's mentors and there's consultants and there's people that actually have run all the miles, done everything that's necessary in business, including fail, 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 and then have got up, dusted themselves off, and continued on to success. And I'm very grateful for you coming on, and I appreciate uh, and look forward to doing several other things hopefully in the future uh, the together to where we can grow our businesses and uh, prosper. The Like I said, I'm Brian Kaiser. I'm the face of Growth Coaching Systems Network and my goal is to help people live a better life and run a better business and I do that by serving others fearlessly and I bring on great people like Rodney and we're going to say goodbye now and be looking for the next Three Keys webinar with uh, I believe my next guest is Mike Calderwood so uh, just look for those get introduced get connect to Rodney Hughes and we'll be back in the next webinar thanks for having me thanks Rodney